Hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so this video is going to be a life update and like a clean with me video just getting my life together so basically let's just get into it um right off the bat my eye is infected right now luckily it happened right after my birthday so my birthday was yesterday and then i woke up the next day for my birthday party and i have an eye infection so i'm not even able to wear makeup right now and that's why like i have my hair like this so you guys can't see it my eye is really really irritated and it's like all closed that's why this eyeball looks tiny and this one looks like a normal person's eye but it is really irritated and I did end up going to the urgent care and I have an infection in my eyes. So I'm taking an antibiotic like four times a day for the next five days. So just ignore my tiny little eye. But you guys, I feel like I have so much to tell you. So I feel like lately I haven't really been doing like videos about me. I've really just been doing a whole bunch of videos like vlogging at the club. Like I feel like I was just... Because you guys know I'm not working at the club anymore as a dancer. But I've been going to the club a lot and vlogging like a lot of behind the scenes and a lot of the other girls at the club. So I haven't really been talking about me much, but I did just post my building renovation finally. I showed you guys an entire tour of the building that I just renovated. And I feel like you guys know that my channel kind of got popular from doing stripper related things. So I'm always scared to steer away from that, which I'm always going to do some type of like stripper or like industry content in some way incorporated into my channel. But I feel like I really want to start this year doing more things about like business and like renovations and houses and like different businesses that I want to start because I always feel like I want to tell you guys about that but then I don't know if you're going to get bored or maybe you don't want to hear about it but I feel like I really want to share it with you guys so I'm just going to start making more videos like that this year that's like one of my new year's resolutions I want to start sharing more on my channel about like me personally I'm still going to have stripper content but I do want to do like more stuff just about like what's actually going on in like my day-to-day -day life business wise like how to start a business how I got the building, how like someone else, how you guys could do something like that. I also do have another business idea that I want to do this year. So I want to share that with you guys as well. I just want my channel to be a little bit more like that this year. So if you guys have any like video ideas and stuff like that, that you want me to do, let me know down below. But you guys, I had to film this clean with me video because my apartment got so bad. So I was like, also like in a really kind of dark place when I was just filming about the club and only vlogging the other girls because I felt like I wasn't really like 100% happy in my life at the time. So I didn't really want to vlog about my life. I'd rather just go to the club and vlog about the girls because at the time I was transitioning, like moving from my last apartment into my new apartment and my new apartment or like the building was not fully renovated yet. So I was actually living in a hotel for like a couple weeks um if you guys go back to like the video that i did like the dark side of stripping i was filming that inside of a hotel so i lived inside of a hotel for a long time and but like nobody knew that because i didn't want to vlog about it so i had like half myself in a hotel half myself in my mom's house half myself at the building and it was just supposed to be like a week or two and it ended up being over a month that i was just like living in the hotel and like my stuff was everywhere and i just felt like my life was all over the place and then once i got into the building like i just felt like my sleep schedule was so messed up. I did not clean. I wasn't motivated to like get my apartment together. And when I did have to film my house, I would literally just clean the area that I was filming in to make it look clean. But behind the scenes, I was living like a hoarder. So I finally deep cleaned my entire freaking house and actually made it look like a normal person's house again. Before I get started showing you guys me cleaning, I do want to thank my sponsor, which is a blue land. So this was actually on Shark Tank and that's when I first heard of them. So when I got the sponsorship, I was like, that sounds so familiar. And then when I looked into it, I was like, oh my God, I freaking saw them on Shark Tank. So let me just explain to you guys the concept of this company because it is freaking genius. So it is cleaning supplies. I have this one, which is glass and mirror cleaner, and it's in this blue bottle. And then I also have this bathroom cleaner in this pink bottle. And then I have foaming hand soap. And then this one, which is the multi-purpose spray, which you can use on everything. So what I love about this brand is that they are reusable bottles. So you know that when you buy cleaning supplies, which I'm gonna show you guys my cleaning closet. I have so many freaking cleaning supplies and I didn't even realize how many bottles that I had. Now that I'm at my like own apartment, cause at my last apartment, they would like um, separate the recycling and the trash for you. But now since I'm at like my own building, 
I do have a recycling bin and an actual trash bin. And I realize how many bottles I freaking use of plastic and it is ridiculous, especially since I'm always cleaning. I feel like I'm always buying cleaning supplies and cleaning supplies range from like five to $6 a bottle. And that's kind of ridiculous when you're buying a bunch of them. Not only does it add up, like it gets expensive, but also that's like a lot of waste. You're wasting the bottles. So that's why I love this company so much because literally I'm gonna show you how it works. So this is what the tablets and bottles look like. The tablets are about the size of a nickel. They have no harmful in ingredients they are vegan and cruelty free so you're basically just going to fill the bottle up to the fill line with either hot or warm water then you're going to plop the tablet in there and it's going to begin to dissolve there is no need to stir or shake the bottle it will dissolve on its own within minutes once they are completely done dissolving you can put the little caps back on the little spray bottle top and begin using them when you use up all your product there's no need to buy a new plastic bottle you can just go on the website and purchase some new tablets you can buy them in bulk for a dollar 55 or buy them for two dollars each and as you guys are going to see in the video i was pretty much able to clean my entire apartment just using these three products when you do purchase the kit you do get 20 percent off because you are purchasing it as a kit and i would definitely recommend doing that just because it just makes it more convenient because you literally have everything and when you purchase the kit you're getting 20 percent off and then i have a link with them for an additional 20 percent off so that is a huge deal and they seriously do not do deals like that so i would definitely take advantage of it click that link i know i'm going to use my own link because i almost used the cleaning products already and i just want to have like a bulk of them in my cleaning supply closet so that i don't have to have a shit ton of bottles i can just have those tablets and then just plop them in here with water once these run out so i would definitely take advantage of getting the kit so you can get that 20 percent off and then use my link that is down below to get an additional 20 percent off of the already 20 percent off but without further ado you guys let me show you how horrible my house got and watch me clean it in three days but you guys my office didn't get dirty that's the one thing i pride myself in because you guys know that i have my tina v dance wear and i pack my own orders and everything from my house so i always make sure that at least like my office and where i'm packing my orders is clean but everything else was a mess but y'all gonna see so usually when my apartment gets really dirty like this i find that it's really hard to clean and very overwhelming just because there's so much to do sometimes i don't know where to start so i usually like to start by just throwing away all of the trash putting things in the recycling bin all the garbage in the trash bin and then all the dirty dishes inside of the sink because i find that that's like what's making the most clutter so if i can get all that stuff out of the way it's easier to clear off the island
Okay, so after I clear off the island, I moved over to the sink. I know it looked like I did the island fast, but it actually took me about 40 minutes. So then I changed because I was getting hot in that sweater. And then I moved over to the sink. So I'm basically just rinsing all the dishes and then putting them in the dishwasher. And then I'm taking apart the top of the stove so I can wash that. I wash the top of the stove, inside the stove, and then I'm going to clean my appliances. picking up all the trash and putting everything away in the kitchen now i am going to steam my floor so i used to mop but now i use the steamer i actually recently just got this and i find that the steamer is so much easier so if you use a mop instead of a steamer i would definitely recommend trying a steamer Now moving on to the bathroom, probably my least favorite room to clean.
bedrooms. This was the last bedroom to clean. This was by far the dirtiest room in my entire house because I was literally just throwing everything in this room. So I started off by clearing a path and then putting all the dirty clothes in one basket and all the garbage in another basket. I did also have clothes in here that I wanted to donate to Goodwill. So I was just taking those clothes out. But this room I was using as storage and I was literally just throwing everything in this room. So it became a huge mess. It literally looked like hoarders. This room is eventually gonna be my like walk-in closet slash glam room. So I wanna take my time with this room. Um, I didn't get it 100% how I wanted, but I just wanted to make it walkable because as you can see, I have so much stuff on the floor. Okay, so this room was taking me forever to clean and I feel like once you're done cleaning a room and you get to like the stuff at the very end that's just on the floor, I feel like that stuff is always the hardest to clean because it's always just like a bunch of random stuff. So I started getting kind of lazy here and I'm not gonna lie, I started just like throwing things in the closet of the bedroom, but at least I cleared up the floor and it's walkable. So when I do go to actually organize this room, it'll be a lot easier, but I definitely kind of got lazy once I got down to like this little last minute stuff. Okay, you guys, it only took me three days, but my house is finally cleaned. If you hear a noise, it is the dishwasher because I have dishes in there right now. But everything is finally clean. I know it's still super empty because I have to get furniture. Right here is going to be my dining room. But once I get all my furniture, it's going to be a lot easier to like decorate since it's clean now. This is my living room. My couches are actually coming in tomorrow. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with like that little nook over there. So if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comment section below. I was going to make it my office, but I already have an office. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do right there. It has a cute little window. So give me ideas if you have any. And then right here, I'm actually going to do a built-in entertainment center with like surround sound. So I'm excited about that. But this is going to be a little living room. And then this is the hallway kitchen again this is just where i put all my cleaning supplies and then my bathroom is clean let me just turn on the little light so simple just the bathroom the shower and yeah that's pretty much the bathroom and then these three rooms which took me the longest this is just where i put like my cleaning towels and like bathroom towels and stuff first is my office room this room i usually keep it pretty clean because i think of it as like my work office room or whatever this is the balcony i still do need to replace the doorknobs and repaint the balcony doors and the balcony is getting worked on tomorrow actually the balcony guy is coming to redo the balcony but this is going to be my office room. I do currently have my office desk in my bedroom holding my TV. But once my dresser comes in for my room, I'm going to be putting my actual office desk here. So I'll just have like my little desk, my little printer, all that. And then this chair will be in the desk. And then I'm just going to get probably a little bit more of these like fluffy things. But I'm going to actually get like the one of those green things that you put inside the vase to hold it up. Shout out to Denise, the house mom at the club, got me that. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. It's going to look way better once I have this all organized. But this is just some of my inventory, my ring light when I take like the pictures with the outfits on the mannequin. And then in here, I just have like more of my inventory organized and stuff like that. Some packaging and yeah. But this office room will look a lot better when something's done organizing it and it's done. But for now, that's what it's looking like. Okay, the next room is my glam room, which this room was the hardest one to clean. As you guys can see, it looks like hoarders buried alive, but it is super clean now. This is another balcony. 
So these balconies actually connect. This door also has to get replaced on the doorknobs. He's also gonna come work on this balcony tomorrow. This is a little walk-in closet thing that I had installed. It is not going to look like this by any means. I was like super in a rush just trying to make this room like walkable. So I just kind of threw everything everywhere. It is not gonna stay like this at all. Mm, so just ignore that. But I was just getting lazy at the end, honestly, as you guys could see. So I just started throwing everything in this freaking closet. So I still have to organize this entire room, go through all this stuff, see what I'm going to keep, see what I'm going to get rid of, and then organize everything nicely here. It will look nice. Um, just give me some time. I do want to get um, a vanity right here. I want to put a huge hanging mirror there. I want to put something in the middle. So if you guys have ideas, let me know or like DM me or tag me in pictures on Instagram because I'm not 100% sure how I want to do it. I'm also going to do another huge luxury shopping haul so I can get some cute things to like decorate in these drawers because most of my stuff is in there and then some of it's in my closet. But it still needs to be organized, but at least it's clean. And then the last room that I cleaned was just my bedroom. Um, once again, this room is not going to look like this. It's just like this in the meantime. So that's actually the desk that's going to go in my office. But I'm waiting for my dresser to come in. I ordered it from Z Gallery a really long time ago. And it still isn't going to be here until like the second week of March. So in the meantime, I just have my TV on top of a desk. So it's not going to stay like that. I'm probably going to put like a cute little chair in the corner there. And then once I have like my actual dresser from Z Gallery, I'm going to mount my TV up on the wall and then get like some new cute like decorative pillows in here. But yeah, it's pretty much just this. And then this is the bathroom. That's pretty much it for me cleaning my house. I'm going to give you guys like a quick little overview. I will be doing another video like once my house is completely furnished and like this is a complete office. And once that's like a complete, you know, glam room and everything's done and I have all my furniture and it is the way I want it. But I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.